Okay, and there's lots of cool ones. We can drop one in, different one for every single freaking thing here. You know, I recommend simplicity or having some sort of, oh, what's the right word? We use the same one over and over, but you know, that's just up to the individual. Just up to whatever is your personal style. See, isn't that neat? Okay. Yeah, and I suggest sitting down here and just playing with all of it. Just don't even care. Don't even make one to put up. Just mess with it yourself and see what all you can do. Now, the, the video effects are things like to brighten them, to blur them, to uh, make them a little darker. Fade from black. Okay, say we wanted our first image to fade from black. We're going to drop it in right here. And then when our movie starts, it will do this. Do you see that? Fade it in from black. Here's one where you can flip an image upside down, which is great if you do like me and use your video camera or your digital camera upside down. Oops. Uh, there's just lots of stuff. I suggest sitting down here and messing with it. Slow down half, half time or speed up. And let me tell you, when you're doing this, you can... I'm going to make these bigger so you can really see. If you take it and drop down, say, a speed up, double time. You see these little stars right there under the hand? That says that you've put an effect on it. And every time you put another effect, another star shows up. Right now, I'm going to right click it and go to video effect. And this shows you all the video effects available, and this shows you which ones you've got on that frame. I've got a fade in from black, black and a double up, or speed up double. You can add and remove any from there, but it's a good way, I think, to check and see what all I've got going on with that one. And uh, try to make sure, like if I'm trying to speed something up all the way through the movie, then I want to double check and make sure I've got one speed up or two speed ups on each one for consistency. If you want it even faster than double time, well, go get it again and drop it down there again. And then it will be twice as fast as twice as fast. Like this. See, it just went really fast. And that's how people can have images that just flash through really, really fast or that go in time to music. That's how to do that. And don't forget, up here you have back and forward arrows which mean undo and I can take both of those off just with an undo and there's also a redo now next we might want to add a little bit of music right of course we need music now you can import or I just went back to right here where it says show collections um, actually I don't think there's anything on here that I really want to use so, I'm going to go to Import Audio. Oh, I've got to let this cat in. Pardon me. Kind of cold tonight. I couldn't just leave the poor bugger outside. Okay, so this is uh, some horror movie music that I happen to have, which is excellent. Uh, I'll just pick The Devil Rides Out. I don't even know what that sounds like. I don't remember it. Now I'm going to drag it. I'm going to click it and drag it right down here to where it says audio and music. You see already there's a, a bar there. I could drop it anywhere along here that I wanted the music to start. I want it to start at the very beginning. Now, see, I have my music in here. And you can see how long it's going to last. It's going to last way beyond our photo show. I'll show you how to deal with that in a moment. Now, I like for my music to fade in, not just to start up really big, unless it's a piece that fades in by itself. Let, let's give it a shot and listen to it and see. Okay, it starts up pretty, pretty dramatically. Um, so what I'm going to do is right click on it, and then it gives us options like the volume, 
you can control the volume. Unfortunately, it doesn't have numbers or any kind of real guide, so what I use is the letters up here. I say, okay, I'm going to adjust it to right under that A, or right under the VO, and that's what I use as a guide. They really need to uh, change that, make it a little bit more, a little bit uh, more precise on um, your volume. Hit OK. Now, I'm also going to make it where it fades in. So, we have our picture fading in from black, and our music's going to fade in. Now, but one of the big problems is, our little photo show is pretty short, and our piece of music goes on for several minutes beyond our photo show. So, we're going to find the end of our photo show, which is right there. We're going to click Audio Music. We're going to put our little pointer right there at the end. And we're going to go over here and use this button right underneath our little monitor screen. And it is the split button. And what it does is it splices, although it seems to be stuck at the moment. I was downloading some things and I think my computer is just being wonky because it's having to share its resources. It turns kind of green and doesn't pop back out. There we go. It popped back out. So then what it does, you see, is it splits this. And now my music is in two parts. And you see the little... Okay, let me try to show you. You see this little black arrow right there? Right, right there? That means this is the highlighted active frame or piece that we're going to work with. This also is the same for the video or anything like that. A black line goes around it and there's a little triangle on the end. And that means hey, this is what I want to adjust. And so what I'm going to do is highlight it, and I'm going to just delete that last bit, because we don't need it. There now, it's nice and trimmed up even with our photos. And I'm going to click I click this, highlight it, right-click, and tell it that I also want it to fade out. And that's a, a nice little touch. Sometimes I forget to do that, and the music ends very abruptly, and it's a, a bit startling and unprofessional. So... Now we have music. But say we want a title at the beginning. So what we need to do, and I'm going to show you just the simple, simple way. We're going to go to Make Titles or Credits. Okay. We're going to need to go down here and highlight our first frame, okay? Because it's going to ask us if we want the title at the very beginning of our movie, before the selected clip, which this is the selected clip. Um, on the selected clip, title after, or credits at the end, which is how people make those cool rolling credits that look like a professional movie. Well, we want it before the selected clip. At the beginning would have worked as well. Whoa. Sorry. My zoom skills are lacking. This is the area where we will type in what we want it to say. Um, so maybe we say, spooky... Uh, spooky slideshow. Okay, and then here it pops up. Now, if you just want the blue with the white and you want your spooky word all cut into pieces, then fine, click done. But I don't like it that way. I want to mess with the animation. I clicked on the animation, and you've got several choices here. Scroll. Um, I, once again, I suggest playing with them, like fly in from top left. Ooh, there it goes. Uh, typewriter, that one's kind of po popular, but can be a little tedious if there's a lot to say. Just there's a lot of them. Uh, mess with them and uh, find what works best for you. I think I'm going to do a... Uh, a zoom out. I don't use that one much. So we've chosen zoom out. Now we're going to go down here. Change the text and font color. And you can change the size, which we're going to need to go smaller because... Where'd it go? There we go. Whoops. I want it to look like that, so I made it a little bit smaller so that the whole spooky word would, would fit on one line. Now you can also change the position if you want it centered or left or right. You can make it bold. Um... 
italicized, underlined. This right here, that's the color of the background. And of course I want black. You can define a specific color if you want to be more picky damn phone. Again. Leave me alone, Johnny. I'm doing something. Ex-boyfriend. I think he calls me more now than he did before. So you can pick your specific color all within this range. If you can't find it here, it pretty much doesn't exist. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to use a black. This is our font color, which... I think uh, kind of a pale dusky blue would be nice. So I'm going to go in here and find a blue that I like. I think that might be nice. Yeah, I like it. It kind of looks white on my camera, but it is a dusky blue. Now, I want a different font. I don't like this this uh, Microsoft Sans Sharif, which sounds so exotic, but it's so boring. Now, I have a lot of fonts. I mean, a lot of fonts. I've created for myself this um, nifty word pad where I have written out the, t the names of the fonts and actually used the font to type it in so that I can go through here and just really quick look through it. And if I have an idea already of what I want, like Black Knight right here, I think that would be perfect. Black Knights, where is it? Um, Black Knight. There we go. And that's what it looks like. But because each font has its own size, it's kind of screwed up my lettering. So I've got to go back. Well, I think I may need to edit the text. Maybe actually go right here between Spooky and Slide and hit that enter button and make it on the next line. There we go. That's more like it. You gonna do it? Might want those fonts a little bit bigger, actually. There, that looks pretty good. Okay, it's I've got it like I want it, so I'm gonna go over here and hit right here, done, add title to movie. Okay, now I think it might be all ready for preview. I'm gonna move you over here so you can see it a little bit better. Let's zoom you in so you can get all caught up in our little movie that we've made. Oh, you know what? We're gonna want we're gonna want we're gonna want this title to fade in from black too. So let's go to video effects. Fade in from black, and we're gonna drag that down here and drop it right on that. Just here is our movie. What I do? I did something wrong. Okay, I it seems that I cut our music incorrectly. Oh, I know. It's because I because I added the title. Now our music is too short for the whole piece. Okay, that's real simple. I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to delete it, and I'm just going to add the music back in because I added something else. It made my music too short. Devil's Ride Out. I'm going to add that right back in. Going to adjust the volume because it was way too loud under the V and the O. Going to find the end of our photos. I'm going to click that audio and music, otherwise, it will not know what it's supposed to do. Choose our selection, go over here, split it, delete this one, our lap over. I'm going to tell it to fade in and fade out now now I think we're ready to go okay now let's watch our movie
Okay, that's it. Now, I recommend that everyone, if you want to learn how to edit and make movies, that maybe you mess around with something like this and just do a slideshow to begin with, family photos, whatever you want. And uh, this will give you a good basis. And then the next, the next video, we will work on actually filming actually filming you and uh, putting it together but this is a really good place to start this is how I started okay I feel dumb I forgot to tell you how to actually save your little masterpiece and since I closed the program the uh, little slideshow we made no longer exists but I opened up something here that I made for my black cat mambo um, account that was just for the icon and it's just a static picture with some music so if you want to save your project if you're all done and you want to save it go up here to file and then click save project as and that's going to give you this it'll show you uh, I always save stuff to my desktop so and you're going to want to give it a name in this case, the name of it is Icon. Let it save it as a Windows Movie Maker project. So just put a name in here. Click Save. I'm not going to do it because this, I've already saved it. Then you can uh, bring that up again later and tweak it and mess with it some more. But when you're ready to actually put it up on the web, you're going to need to do something else with it. You're going to need... Um, after you've saved it like that, you're going to need to click Save Movie File. You see? Save Movie File. And you can do that, you know, you can bring it up later and save it this way, or you can do it at the same time while you still have all this open. Um, it gives you choices to save it to your computer, to a recordable CD, to email it, save it to the web if you have a, a host, save it back to your DB camera. Uh, lots of stuff. I just, I really haven't even tried saving it to any of the other things. So I'm going to tell you the way that I know to do it. You can experiment with the rest. I just save it to my computer. Go down here, click next. Then it's going to assign it a name and usually it's going to be whatever name you already gave it. Then an underscore and then 0001. In this case it's two because there's already a 0001. It's going to ask you where you want to save it at. And um, once you get all that straightened away, you hit next. And it's going to ask you if you want to save it for best playback on your computer. If you want to save it to a certain size. I always choose other settings. And I choose... There's a whole drop down list here, y'all. It'll confuse the hell out of you. I tend to choose high quality video small and the video looks pretty good but it's a, a fairly small file which makes it a lot quicker to save and quicker to upload and then you uh, need to hit next look I've got almost no space left on my hard drive that's ridiculous but yeah you, you want to click next and then it will go ahead and save it just be sure that you notice where you're saving it to I don't want y'all going where did it go to Alyssa I can't find it. Yes, Little Black Sambo. It's a project that I'm working on. Okay, don't give me a hard time. Anyhow, I hope that helped. And, you know, yeah, if you make something up, I want to see it. So you pop it up and uh, let me know that you did it. And tell me where to go to look at it. Alrighty? Good luck. Have fun. Bye.